Hi, I'm Harry, and today we're gonna to be answering a dating question from a guy who has apparently put the ball in the woman's court for her to contact him when they wanna hang out, and now he's wondering why she hasn't reached out. And the message goes like this. He says, I met a girl this summer, and when I asked her out, she accepted. We were out for two hours and talked all the time. There were some awkward silences at some points, but we both carried on conversation and we're having a good time. And I'll say this, that's not a bad thing. In the course of getting to know somebody, I think that men especially are very afraid of having like pauses in conversation or silent moments because they feel as though that indicates that maybe the woman's now not interested or that he's not interesting enough to be able to carry on a conversation or know what to say. But you can't let those moments scare you because those moments are bound to come up. And while you th you're all in your head thinking, this is the worst thing ever, she's also in her head thinking, oh my gosh, like, what do I say next? Or for all you know, she could be thinking, I really wanna impress this guy and I don't wanna mess up. So I don't know what to say, but I gotta think of something. You know, women that are, you know, taken by you, they could also feel that same thing where they don't know what to say and they're trying to impress you. So always keep that in mind. So when there's a silent moment, just think to yourself, man, she must have a hard time uh, coming up with something because she's just so you know, enamored with me or having such a great time and she's not trying to mess up. So I'm just gonna sit back and chill. But it's perfectly fine to have a silent moment every so often. You don't need to have a continuous conversation with the woman in order for her to be interested in you, okay? Anyway, continuing, he says, we didn't really plan on a second date, which you shouldn't do on a date anyway. I tell you guys all the time, no planning second dates on first dates. At the very least, at the end, you can say, hey, you had a good time, and you know that's it. You don't need to be saying, I hope to see you again, or let's have something else. Like, you, you err on the side of, you, you have a better chance of getting a woman to agree to another date if you just let that date end and let her wait a few days to hear from you before you reach out to her again. That's really the, in my practice I've found, that has been the most consistent way I've been able to score second dates. Even if the first date didn't go all that great, just me allowing a little bit of patience and time to pass usually results in me being able to get a second and third date with the woman, okay? So don't think you gotta try to like plan that second date on that first date or try to text her that night, hey, I had a good time, we should go out again soon. They don't need none of that. They don't need any kind of reassurance that you had a good time. They will get that reassurance when you ask them out a few days later for a second date. Continuing, uh, he says, we didn't really plan on a second date, but I really thought she is interested in me. She asked me first about relationships and if I ever had a girlfriend. Uh, this guy doesn't say how old he is, but I would I would surmise that he might, he might be a younger guy that is not used to having a girlfriend. And so maybe he feared having that question asked. Guys, I'm gonna tell you this. If a woman asks you, hey, have you ever had a girlfriend before? And you haven't had a girlfriend before? The answer to give her is that it's, it's none of her business. I mean, you don't wanna say it like that. You could say, I don't know, take a guess, or oh, I don't kiss and tell. But you trying to tell her that you've never had a girlfriend, like that's one of those things where you can do it, you can be blatantly honest and say, I've never had a girlfriend in my life before, but you know, that's really not more often not going to help your cause. And if she becomes your girlfriend, now you've had a girlfriend. So don't worry so much about having to, you know, come out and admit to her, oh, I've never had a girlfriend, isn't that? Like, that's not a necessary thing. A lot of times women are asking that to see if other women have desired you and if you possibly know how to take care of women and please women and pleasure women and all the other stuff, okay? Again, all that to say, that is none of her business. So you can be coy with it. Like I said, the best response is like, well, you know, I don't like to kiss and tell or, you know, I don't want to get into that too early on because we just started dating. So let's maybe talk about that down the road. But don't be on the first date. If she's asking those kind of questions, don't feel like you have to give her a straight answer about it, okay? Be playful with it. Continuing, he says, I texted her after a few days, although I know she was busy, and asked her to text me when she's free so we can hang out. And she responded with, I will see. She really rarely texts first, but responds pretty quickly. So this part here, it's worded weird. He says, uh, he asked her to text me when she's free so we can hang out. And so he's basically trying to, I guess, trying to figure out what her schedule is. But 
even that, like this guy's trying to be courteous and he's trying to say basically, hey, whenever you're free, we can hang out. I will tell you from my personal experience that you will get better results if you just hit up a woman and say, hey, I have an idea for something to do and I'm free on this day or this day, whichever works best for you. So I found two things. One, I don't form my date request anymore in the form of a question because then it sounds like I'm making a request versus just saying, hey, I want to do these plans and you're coming along. Just let me know when you're aware. It's, it's a psychological thing, but I found by not forming it as a question, usually I'm able to get the date because now it's like I'm saying, I have these plans, you're coming along versus, hey, so I'm thinking about these kind of plans. Do you want to come along? And it's a different psychological thing that's at play, but it really does make the difference between a woman that would probably say yes to you and a woman that's like, oh, he's giving me the choice. Well, I don't know, all right? Um, but more to the point, again, like I said, asking a woman when she's free, it's not that it's the worst thing in the world, but I'm trying to give you guys advice on what's gonna be more probable in you being able to actually score a date with a woman. And you going to a woman and saying, hey, let me know when you're free so we can go out, you're thinking that's a that's a like a direct question and statement. What she's interpreting it is as is uh, this guy, I'm free all the time, and I really have nothing else going on, so I'm going to cater to your schedule. And women don't like that feeling. Women don't like the idea that the guy that, that's pursuing them is just sitting there waiting by the phone for her to be ready to go at a, at, on a date at any moment's whim, okay? This is why it's important to have a life outside of her because here's what looks better, is you hit up a woman and say, hey, so most of my week is shot, I'm gonna be busy for most of the week, but I do have uh, Tuesday evening at 7.15 and Thursday evening at seven available if you're free. That sounds better than, hey, anytime you're free, then let me know and we'll go out. Okay, so this is why you need to always go to her already prepared with like two days that'll work and the specific dates you wanna do. You don't do this thing of, well, whenever you're free and whatever you wanna do, because women wanna see that you're taking time to show that you appreciate and care for them by showing that you're, they're worth the effort to plan an actual date, all right? So we'll do it that way instead of the way you've been doing it. Continuing. Oh, and he says she really, really texts first. Uh, yeah, guy, this is where I get into the whole thing of texting kills attraction. Your only purpose of using the phone is to set up dates. So don't be trying to reach out to her and say, hey, you can text me whenever you want to. Women that like you, trust me, as they get to know, like you more and more, they cannot help but to text you, okay? It's just, it's innate. It's it's almost like darn in their DNA these days that if they like you, they're going to consistently reach out to you. But in the beginning, in that first month of dating, don't expect her to be hitting you up all the time because she's looking to you to see if you're gonna hit her up to ask her on a date. And then you're gonna communicate with her on the date. Everything that you're trying to do to build attraction with this woman should be on the date, not on the phone, okay? And as you do that more and you do it correctly and she has a positive response, then around the, the beginning of the second month, she'll start hitting you up, asking you on dates, trying to plan stuff for you to do, bringing you to her place to cook for you and do other things to you, okay? So just be patient with that. He says, it's about a week since that last message and I don't know if I should initiate contact with her. I don't want to be the guy that will bother her or if that we'll see message was a no. I'm now, I'm, I'm now between wanting to text her again and waiting for her to initiate the conversation. So this is why guys, you do not give the woman the option to just hit you up whenever she wants to and let you know when she's free, okay? Now, to be fair to that, again, women that from date one have a relatively high interest in you will, whatever request you put out there, they're gonna do, okay? But I have found for the majority of women, because women get hit on quite often, and honestly, in terms of first dates, she probably has more than you as a first date. So they're looking for any excuse for these men to cancel themselves out, all right? And so this is why you don't do the whole like, well, again, Let's just, you text me whenever and we'll, go on a date, and we'll go on a date whenever you're free and we'll do whatever you want to do. None of that stuff, okay? You got to be intentional and with your date ask. You have to know where you want to go, what days you're free, and just don't be so afraid to just throw a date out there and her say no to it because she, she might do that. But you at least throwing a couple of options out there 
she can come back to you and say, well, I can't do Tuesday or Thursday, but I am free on Saturday or I'm free on Monday or whatever, okay? But you have to come to her steadfast in like, I can do these dates and these are the plans. This is where I want to take you. This is what I want to do, okay? That will turn women on more than you leaving the plans up to her, leaving the day up to her, leaving what you're going to do to do up to her. Like none of that stuff is, is attractive, okay? So this is why you do not put the ball in her court because women want to see you lead. Women are turned on by a guy that is a take charge guy that can lead the interaction. Now, he's wondering if he's, it's, been, it's been a week, so what should he do? Because he's still waiting for her to hit him up. But, and I've said this before on the show, women don't want the love story of, well, I contacted him, I called him, and I hit him up for a date. So even though you put it in her court, she's gonna still wait for you to hit her up to ask her on an actual date with a actual days and times. Now, this could be a woman that's not interested. That happens too. So, it, but the point is, it's been a week. So this is what I typically do. Because you didn't ask her out. You said, hey, let me know when you're free so we can do a date. I typically err on the side of, I'll ask a woman out on a date consistently. And if she shows up, great. If I ask her out and then she either doesn't show up or she flakes or she doesn't answer me back or she gets back to me late and says, oh, I'm sorry, I missed out. I do it two times. So I reach out. I say, hey, let's go on a date this day and time. Oh, I can't make it. Okay, cool. I wait a week and then I'll ask her again. Hey, I want to take you to this place uh, this day uh, or this day at this time. Let me know if you're free. Okay, great. Um, I'll let you know. If after that second time, I'm, I'm getting the same response that indicates it's either a maybe, which is really a no, or she's just straight up ghosting me, then I know at that point it's time to give up. So no more than two times. So in this case, you technically have not tried. You asked her to let you know when she's free and she said, okay, I'll let you know, but that wasn't an actual date ask. So what you're gonna do is this. Hit her up with the text, already have an advance. Hey, there's this new restaurant that's opened up. I wanna try it out and uh, I'm available Tuesday and Thursday, whichever one works for you. Leave it at that. Again, you're not asking her, you're telling her, I wanna take you out to dinner at this place I'm free either this day or this day, whichever works for you. And that's it. And you leave it alone. And then if she wants to date you and wants to go out with you and get a dinner off you and have a good time, then she'll respond and say, okay, great. Let's go on this day at this time. If she doesn't, she'll either just not respond altogether or she'll give you any kind of maybe answer in the world that ultimately indicates that she's not trying to see you. At which point you say, okay, great. And then you leave it alone. And then at that point, you just go on to somebody else. If she happens to come back to you in the future and says, hey, let's go out. You can just say, hey, you know what? Why don't you come by my place and we can do something here? Because if, if a woman ghosts you and then comes back later, you don't take her out. You have, you have her come to your place and show you why she needs to apologize for uh, ghosting you in the first place and see how she's going to make it up to you. All right? But don't be this guy that's going to put the thing in a woman's court. Because even a woman that highly has high interest in you, more often than not, is not going to want to have to be the one to reach out to you. So do the thing you need to do as a man. Reach out to her, set up a date, and go have a good time. So hopefully, God, this helps you out. For the rest of you all, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer on one of these shows, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. If you're watching this at youtube.com slash harrywilmington, you can uh, leave a comment down below, and I answer them there as well, all right? Uh, be sure to go to the website for any ebooks, audiobooks, and programs, all designed to help you date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. If you want to show support for the show, I greatly appreciate it. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash harrywilmington, or you can go to my uh, website, introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the tip jar tab, and leave a monetary thank you. That's it. That's all I got for now. I'm Harry Wilmington, and I'll catch you guys on the next show. I'm out. Peace. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.